Hey guys, uh, I mentioned before that I was going to speak about pivoting. Well, this video is a brief introduction to how to apply uh, pivoting or how to create pivot tables using pandas uh, and pandas data frames. Let's have a quick look at uh, a reasonable definition of um, pivot tables. So a pivot table, uh, according to Wikipedia at least, is a data summarization tool found in the you know several data visualization programs such as maybe spreadsheets and so on and so forth. And a pivot table, what it does, it automatically sorts, counts, and you know totals or averages the data stored in one table or spreadsheet, and it'll display the results in a second table so showing the summarized data. Okay, so when we speak about um, you know sorting and counting and finding totals and stuff like that, we mainly speak about numerical data. And the good thing about pivot tables are uh, that they display summarized uh, data, okay? And, you know, they're usefully for creating uh, stuff for cross tabulations and so on and so forth. So, the general idea is we have numerical data and we want it to, to display summaries. Let's have a look at a simple example. I've created this data frame. Um, uh, needless to say that we can load that from a CSV if we wanted or even read it from, from the web. Um, if I haven't explained that, I will show that in the coming videos, how to read data from the web using pandas. So let's import our pandas the usual way. And then I say raw data equals this is a simple dictionary. It has um, a city, a few values for cities. You'll notice the repetitions here. Tripoli, Tripoli is repeated, Rome, Rome, and Sydney as well. And some ranks. So there's some repetitions along for the ranks as well. And then have scores, you know, for score one and score two. Let's create a data frame and display and see what it looks like. You will notice here that for the city, for example, Tripoli first, I have two scores for two numerical values, basically two scores for Tripoli first. And here again, Tripoli first, I have two scores. And the idea of pivoting is that instead of displaying Tripoli first twice or maybe more than two, what if I wanted to display like the average for score one for Tripoli first? and the average, the average for score 2 for triple first, likewise for Sydney or any other values. This is just an example, but I, ho I hope you get the idea that we wanted to display just a summary, maybe the average, the mean, or the median, and so on and so forth. Well, this is exactly what pivoting helps us to do. And to create pivot tables, we can use pandas. There's a function or a method called pivot table from pandas or from the data frame itself. If I do... Uh, shift tab have a look at the documentation as usual it tells us here it creates a spreadsheet style pivot table as a data frame so the result will be also a data frame the levels in the pivot table will be stored in multi-index objects hierarchical indexes uh, as, as you will see on the index and columns of the result data frame so what we do is basically we uh, tell the pivot method you know which indexes to use and what the function that we want to perform is maybe like a mean or count or something like that so if we look here at um, the index like we said here we specify index we tell it you know which ones to use as index and then uh, the aggregation function by default is mean but we can have other values as well we can have um, and by the way, it uses NumPy means, so, so it's quite nice. Uh, we can have count and so on and so forth, right? So enough talking, let's have a look at an example. Here we are calling the pivot table uh, function or method from pandas. So pd.pivottable, I pass it the data frame I wanted to use uh, to create the pivot table, this data frame here, and I tell it, make it based on, basically make the index is city and rank. So city, triple first, triple first, I want those to be my indexes and I want to do an aggregation. Or, I'm sorry, I want to do a mean. So I, I would like to have the mean values of uh, basically triple first, triple first, Sydney second, uh, Sydney second, and so on and so forth, right? Let's run that and see what it looks like. There you go. Now we have the two indexes, that, like we mentioned here, use city and uh, rank. So this is a hierarchical index, city, Rome, and then the first index, the second index is rank. Rome first, Rome second, Sydney first, Sydney second, Tripoli first, Tripoli second. And then now in the scores, I have the average. So for Rome first, we have Rome first here 34, our Rome first here 38. The average of that 
is 36 for score 1, likewise for score 2, and so on and so forth. That's using the means or the average, uh, like we read, it uses the numpy means, the, the numpy mean. And if I want to use count, then I can see just, you know, how many times each one is repeated. So Rome first is repeated twice for score 1 and score 2. Sydney first only repeated once, Sydney second is repeated twice, likewise for Tripoli first and Tripoli second. So the idea is quite simple, but really powerful. And uh, because it um, it creates a data frame, then we can all we can save that. So if I want to say, for example, new data frame equals uh, this pivot, then I can display that. Uh, yeah, we can display it. Uh, what else we can can we do uh, to unpivot? So from this table, if we wanted to get back the original table, um, well, we have the mean values, so it's difficult to get the original values. Uh, I don't think there is any function uh, currently in Pandas to do that, so I'm going to stop here, and I hope you found it useful. Let's see you in the next video.